So, interesting. Hi, my name is Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. This is a fact, a very cool house. That is a really neat looking house, and it looks amazing, and I would like to live there too. This is also a new series for us. This is Mystery Trackers. And I decided to do this because it turns out in the Haunted Hotel series, a good, they're singing our house. Excellent. Good, good job, chat. In the Haunted Hotel series, which is made by Elephant Games, there are crossovers with this series and Grimm's Tales. So if we continue playing Haunted Hotel, which we're going to, we're going to have more run-ins with these other two series. So I thought we'd play them all kind of in tandem. So this is one of the first series that the company made, it came out in 2010. And I don't know if I've ever played this demo, but I think I've played some of the series. I think I might own one, but I know it's not this one. All right, let's play the game. Would you? No, I never want interactive help. Thank you. Ooh, it's even spookier from up close. And the first thing I get is a crowbar. I already love this game. The police actually believe a boarded up door is a preventative measure. That is actually normally very preventative, yes. Anything else out here? I don't think so. Cool. Wait, what is this? Adorable. A performing toad in a smoking jacket. It must be Mr. Majestic's pet. <gasps> He's our friend now. It is a frog in a smoking jacket with a little... <sighs> it's not a cubicle. Where's my brain tonight? A little eyepiece. Monocle, thank you. At least they sounded the same. <laughs> right, okay, so. The key is needed to open this small lock. All right. Suspicious plate, I should find a way to remove it. Is there anything else over here? Nope. It's too dark in the basement. I wouldn't be able to see anything. Oh, okay. It's not actually the way to get to the basement, but you can see the basement from here. That makes sense. This picture looks like it's been hanging here for ages. What is that in the background? Is that like a troll? Oh, what's our book look like? There's the toad! He's adorable! What an odd photo. Who is the masked man? And what is the creature in the background? That was my question! Oh wow, this is a lot. What is this? Okay, hang on a mo. The Order of Pathfinder Knights was founded in the darkest of the Dark Ages by Sir Gareth D Dandelion? Those times were plagued by inexplicable phenomena, and it was the Order's job to investigate and solve the mysteries before hysteria ensued. The knights could be identified by their badge, and codename was Mystery Trackers. They were called the Order of the Pathfinder Knights, and they went with Mystery Trackers? I, I agree, this was way more backstory than I was ready for. Over time, the Order evolved into a clandestine detective agency, whose members investigated mystic and enigmatic cases. Nowadays, the Order is still in the shadows, but its agents are always on alert. I'm their newest recruit. I started this journal to log my investigation step by step as the order, order's always done. Here are pictures of Sir Gareth. I guess it's not Dandelion, but I can't pronounce that. Sir Claude Magnifier, Lady Matilda Unravel, and Sir Thomas Fox, the most prominent members of the order. Wow, that's interesting. I mean, he's our hint button, so I guess he's coming with us. Oh wow, this is even more information than we got in the opening. Did this have a date? No, of course not. 
All right, well, Boyd's Mansion, April 27th. I guess it's April 27th, but that's not the kind of date I was looking for. For 10 long years, the Void Mansion has sat abandoned and forgotten by everyone. The late owner, Mr. Malleus Void, used to conduct odd and massive experiments on his estate. His work garnered a lot of attention, mostly negative, and he became known as the Mad Scientist. I know, right? Now Void Mansion is attracting the public's attention again. Three celebrities have disappeared there. When a formal investigation produced no results, the head of MT Detective Agency decided to send an agent to the Void. Oh wow, they even have backstories of the missing people. This is very in-depth. Kevin Sting left the world of publishers and coffee shops for the Void Mansion on March 9th. The exact date of his disappearance is unknown, approximately a month ago. Mr. Sting is famous for his horror novels. Unfortunately for him, his latest books have not received a warm reception. He was the first of the three who recently disappeared from the Void Mansion. Gerald Springs utterly vanished from the mansion on the night of April 10th. He is quite famous for his rowdy but convincing performances. He is certainly the best illusionist since Houdini's time. Oddly enough, it's not his popularity, but his ability to expose other illusionists as frauds. Mr. Majestic, the magician unmasker, is how he likes to refer to himself. He also has a toad. Can I click on any of this? No, okay. Rebecca Thatcher vanished from the mansion three days ago. The quickly arranged investigation didn't yield any results. The actress was a star at the Globe Theater and was popular, mostly for her dramatic roles. Her last performance on stage was Twelfth Night by Shakespeare. Right before her disappearance, she quit the play and refused to comment on her actions to the press. This is very weird. Okay, that's the picture of the dude. A decade after Malleus Void's mysterious death, the abandoned mansion is in shambles, but I'm assuming this very solitude was what first attracted the writer Kevin Sting here. So far, there's no sign of our vanished guests, but I did find a suitcase near the stairs that must have belonged to one of them. It, it was probably the magician. It, it had a toad on it. The first thing I discovered was a trained toad sitting on the suitcase. I assume it belonged to the illusionist Mr. Springs, you think? The toad is wearing a Victorian costume. I wonder how long it's been here. I guess I'll take it with me. It's kind of cute, and I could swear it's trying to tell me something. Wow, this is the, the toad being our hint button actually makes sense because he's trying to communicate with us and give us help. This is very in-depth. Okay. That, that was a lot of information. That's one of the things I miss about in the newer games is they had a lot more backstory in the older games. Okay, let's see. So this is an older style hidden object puzzle with lots of things all over the place, but not quite old enough where stuff is in s severely random stuff. I know, I know I'm going. Let's see. So we picture perfume key, eight roses, a dart, a microphone, four masks, a frog, a necktie, a clarinet, a knife, and dentures. Okay, so picture, perfume, key, and eight roses. Okay, picture, what was it? Oh, the four masks? Yeah. The little dolly has a mask. Yeah, let's get those big pieces out of the way. That makes it much easier. There's the necktie. Okay, picture, perfume, key. Oh, I need one more rose. There's a frog! Oh, he's cute too. There's the key. There's the dentures. There's a dolly. Do I need, I need a dart. Stop that. And a microphone. Hmm. Based on that microphone, I'm not entirely sure when this is supposed to be taking place, even though it kind of looks like it's supposed to be taking place in the 40s or 50s. But we've been burnt by guessing that kind of stuff before. We still haven't figured out when the haunted hotel stuff took place, except for the most latest one. The most latest one? The latest one. I don't think I needed the most in there. That's not a picture. That's a snow globe. Where's the picture? 
picture, 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 picture. Oh, it's a picture of a chicken. I thought that was a chicken. That's the thing I needed. Great work. You've successfully located the hidden item. Yeah. You've successfully located the hidden item. Perhaps it will come in handy. Why do I need a picture of a chicken? Yeah, I, I, oh, oh. Okay. This is very weird. Huh. Can I go up these stairs? No. Ooh, look, a cool butterfly. Where's it going? Come back, butterfly. No, oh, I guess it's not important. What's over here? City news. Mr. Majestic makes a sensational claim. Seems a newspaper was printed a couple weeks ago. This is backwards writing. Lighthouse the Fields by Stephen Sting. Stephen Sting. Kevin Sting. Yeah, okay. I almost clicked outside of this to make it go away. How do I make it go away? Okay. There we go. Uh... A bookshelf is a good place to hide something in plain sight. I keep wanting to read this as Stephen King. I think that's what they were trying to go for, but my dyslexia is like... What on earth? Mr. Sting's glasses were broken under unknown circumstances. Visiting this place was a fatal mistake. Rather than finding inspiration, my muse has led me into a trap. I was enchanted by the Void Mansion's mysterious atmosphere and failed to recognize the dangerous game I was playing. My car will not start. My phone is dead. I swear I can feel somebody watching my every move. I'm locking my side in myself inside this room until dawn when it's safe to leave the mansion. Ah, uh, he probably didn't make it out then. Obviously, someone's been snooping, but didn't care to cover his tracks. And we need a key. This closet stained glass is beautiful. The fact that it's locked is not. Agreed. Weird. Someone's got a sense of humor drawing faces in the steam. Draw handle. I don't think so. The code lock on the diary is broken, an important part is missing. Your muse is mostly messed up television shows from where we, when we were young and fairy tales that are also so. Alright, let's see. Alarm clock, fan, two, I'm sorry, three newspaper scraps, axe, handkerchief, pipe, Four buttons, locket, safety pin, spade, African mask, and dog. I know I'm not wrong. Okay. Oh, three scraps of newspaper and four buttons. Let's find them first. Oh, a puppy. That was much weirder of a puppy than I thought it was going to be. Button, button. Who's got the button? All right. Oh, there's the other one. And there's the last one. Okay. Alarm clock, fan, axe, handkerchief, pipe. There's the pipe. There's a dragonfly. Uh, locket. Fan. Safety pin. I just saw a safety pin. There it is. A button, a spade, an axe, and an alarm clock. Well, the alarm clock's not where it's supposed to be, so... And the dolly. And the creepy doll. Um, what am I looking for? Alarm clock. There's another dart. Who's throwing darts around here? Axe, button, spade. Why do I not see an axe anywhere? That seems like it should be- Oh, there it is. Seems like it should be easy to find. Okay, a spade and a button. Okay, so is this a spade like the Ace of Spades? Or is this a spade like- Yes, it is like a digging spade. And one more button. Hmm. Where's the last button? 
Oh, wow, that was really good. I thought those were bubbles in the teapot the cup. Good hiding. All right, let's put this newspaper back together and see what terrible thing this guy did. Okay. So do you think one of the missing people is actually the bad guy? Or do you think it's something supernatural? Wait, I didn't get to read it. Secret place. Memo. I just... Just in case I put the lockpick here. Doc. It didn't get- let me read the newspaper. Wow, this is very weird. Oh my gosh, they gave us like four more pages worth of stuff. Writer's glasses are broken. Perhaps there was a struggle. I found Ke Steve- it's not Stephen King. It's really not. I found Kevin Sting's note written inside the cover of his book. The way it was hidden, not so cleverly on the bookshelf, makes me think that Mr. Sting wanted somebody to find his note. But the real questions are, why wouldn't his car start? And why was his phone dead? I mean, the phone being dead is kind of obvious. Let's see. Visiting the place. Oh, that's just a copy of the note. Somebody drew theater masks on the window. Okay. Mr. Majestic makes sensational claim. Famous illusionist Jared Springs, better known as Mr. Majestic, announced today that he intends to expose the secret of the Void Mansion. Oh. I vow to spend one night at the mansion and prove or disprove maybe the rumor that it's haunted or a mystical vortex is just that a rumor. I'm sure I'll find Mr. Sting hiding in the basement typing away at another flop. I'm a professional illusionist. I've dedicated my life to creating the grand illusion. I've even been granted the Order of Merlin Award. I wonder if that's a real thing. That kind of sounds like a real thing. Magicians are kind of silly like that. That's why I take personal offense when a shameless marketing ploy tricks us into believing it is the work of mystics and magic. Disappearance of Kevin Sting rather is nothing blah blah blah. I can't read what else that says. I found a two-week-old newspaper on the table. The article talks about another exposure that Mr. Springs was inclined to undertake. It looks like he attempted to uncover the mystery of Kevin Sting's disappearance. Mr. Sting vanished from the same room about a month ago. The writer's stuff is scattered everywhere. The illusionist must have searched the room, but who read then tore up the newspaper? The illusionist couldn't have done it because he vanished on the night of April 10th, and the newspaper was only printed the morning of April 11th. On the back of the newspaper is a sketch of a hiding place located in the mansion's hall. This is very in-depth backstory for this game. Okay, so what do we need to do? I have, oh, I can go get the thing from the screwdriver. I mean, hiding place with the screwdriver. This is kind of what Haunted Hotel, the original, was like, except that one was way more wackadoo. This sort of makes sense so far. I got a lockpick. Is there anything locked down here? No, that we found the key for that. So we just need to unlock this. Three butterflies, iron, ring, cane, corkscrew, scissors, hammer, knight, spoon, handprint, padlock, golden mask. There's three butterflies. One butterfly. I know where one of them is. It's it's outside the thing over over there. I lost my train of thought. Okay. Oh, that's not a golden mask. That's just a regular mask. That's not a golden mask either. That's silver. Very specific. Okay. Butterfly, iron, ring, cane. Butterfly, iron, ring, cane, hammer. Is that a butterfly? No. What is that a picture of? Huh. Ring. Not golden. I see a golden mask. That's interesting. Oh, there's the other butterfly. Actually, I think that was a moth. They are not actually the same thing. They are different, but they are both cool. Iron. Corkscrew and scissors. And knight and a spoon. There's a spoon. 
And a flashlight. We probably could use a flashlight. There's a corkscrew. That's typewriter tape. Oh, a knight. That's not what I was thinking of looking for. There's the scissors. Oh, there's a golden mask. That's a good place to hide it. And a handprint. I thought I saw a handprint. Yep, I did. There it is. Okay, now we can open up the diary that's on the windowsill. Which looks like it might belong to the actress. Oh, what's the code? Wait, stop it. Uh, let's see. Silly, angry, happy, scared, and then whatever. So silly, angry, happy, scared, and whatever last one is. Sad. Yep, it is the actress. Oh, there's more of these clock things in there. That's weird. Well, I hope they put that in my book, because I couldn't read that. Wait, where did those faces go? Oh, this is the whole page with the faces. Okay. Somebody drew theater mass on the window and recently. The steam is from the still hot cup of coffee. Oh, so like recently, recently. Miss Thatcher was the last person who vanished from here and that was three days ago. But what's even more curious is that she must have been aware of the previous disappearances. So why did she come here? Who invited her? Was the offer so intriguing she ignored the potential danger? The diary that belonged to the act actress Rebecca Thatcher was not hidden. I don't think a celebrity would leave something so private out in the open. It's like she was interrupted. I wonder who attempted to unlock it. The code lock is broken, keeping her notes concealed. This is the photo from her last premiere. Miss Thatcher looks on edge as if she's waiting for something to happen. <laughs> Boy, I miss those. This abandoned mansion is just the place for the thrilling meeting I'm about to have. This could be the role of a lifetime. I've heard that Mr. Majestic and Mr. Kevin Sting both vanished from the house without a trace. Sometimes I feel a bit uncomfortable, scared really. S something, never mind, soon I'll find the answer I want. All right, so someone told her to come so that she could, like, audition for a role or something? It's kind of weird. Right, now we have a handle and a bunch of clock pieces. But I don't actually know what we're- wait! Oh, ah! There's a dead dude! Do we just, like, wander around the other half of the room and not notice that there's a dead guy over here? <laughs> There's no pulse, he's dead. No traces of violence. As It's as if he just fell asleep. What did he give me? Oh, it must be more paper stuff. Looks like it's much more serious than I thought. I just found a dead man near the fireplace. By the looks of it, he was a doctor. The evidence suggests it was a suicide. However, the note in his hands causes me to question this. My diagnosis is clear. Selective amnesia on the background of, psych of a psychological scar. I am forgetting the events that hurt my soul. Therefore, I have drafted a to-do list for myself. Hide the collected evidences in the secret place. Convince Malice to let me outside in order to renew our medicine supply. Give, me a give myself an injection of a sedative before the trip. Get to the nearest town. Address the police. Two have already died. I must save her at least. If only I could get rid of those annoying creatures? Malice is not guilty at all. I'm probably saying his name wrong, by the way. I actually don't care. Well, that's a thing that just happened. Why was there a doctor here? Wait. I also discovered a syringe with a lethal, lethal dose of morphine next to this man. A doctor wouldn't overdose on morphine accidentally. That is true. Mostly. I mean, you could, but probably not. There's something behind the tapestry. All I have is a drawer pull, right? Okay. This is very strange. <laughs> Cherry, grasshopper, scoop, dice, comb, lollipop, envelope, fleur de lis, Musical symbol, fan, lion, clock hands. More clock hands. 
Okay, cherry grasshopper scoop. And a lollipop. And a key. I don't need a key though. I wonder if this is like the team of people that made the game. I knew what I was talking about. I've forgotten everything I was looking for. Cherry and a gra- there's a cherry. Grasshopper. I actually thought I saw a grasshopper. There he is! And a scoop. Is that a scoop? Yes. Dice. Comb. Oh, why am I bonking you upside the head? Were you- were you telling her that your writing isn't good too? Your writing is good, my dear. I hate to break it to you. You usually deserve it. You usually deserve it because you're being mean to yourself and that is not okay. You're not allowed to be mean to yourself. It is not a thing. Uh, fan line clock hands. Is this the fan? No, that's part of the... Oh, there's the fan. That's a mask here. Lion and clock hands. There's an egg. I keep seeing that egg and wanting to click on it, but we're not looking for an egg. There's a shell. Is that like an upside down butterfly? Oh no, I think that might be a bow. What am I looking for? Oh, I'm looking for that. Lion and clock hands. Why can't I find the lion? The lion and the unicorn were fighting for the crown. The lion beat the unicorn. All around the town. Okay, now I have clock hands. I don't actually remember there being any clocks, do you? The fire's still burning. Someone must have lit it not that long ago. Correct. Okay. I don't know what we're supposed to do next. We have a lot of clock hands. Do we need to go back outside? No, there's nothing out here. We have a drawer pull. I haven't even seen a clock except for the one in that hidden object puzzle and I'm not allowed to click on that one. Well, I guess there's one there too, but I can't click on that either. Ooh, what's this? Aha, I missed something. All right. This is an older game. It's gonna have a lot of find it puzzles. Binoculars, coin, clutch, butterfly, which I thought I saw, but I didn't. A domino. I love that I can just hear the frog ribbit the whole time, or toad rather, it's silly business. That is not a ring, that is a cufflink. And what else? Uh, cloth and feathers. This is cloth. Is that the one? Okay. I mean, lots of things are cloth. Scissors! Scissors, 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 scissors. There's a knife. What happened to my crowbar anyway? How come I can't use my crowbar anymore? Clover. Crumpled newspaper. I totally saw. There. Wait, there it is. And a spider. Oh no, it's a spider! Spiders are creepy. It's nice that they eat bugs because I don't like bugs any more than I like spiders, but I, I, I wish they weren't so creepy. There's a button. They are our friends and I am okay with their existence as long as I can't see them in the house, I can't feel them in the house, and I can't feel them outside. If any of those things becomes negative, in that I can feel them or see them in the house or I can feel them outside, they're dead to me. Because they have broken the unspoken rule, or actually I speak it quite a lot. I don't actually care if they understand me. It's a thing. They need to know their place and their place is not touching me. Okay. Now we have a scissor. Oh, so we can cut the tapestry. What is this? And this must be what the clock hands are for. Okay. Oh, uh, is this... Yeah, I wanna... Okay, so I have to get it so that... 
Come on, thank you. What I'm trying to do. Okay, that's incorrect, but. Hmm. Sorry, that's the biggest one. Where's the other biggest one? This is the other biggest one. Both on the same one? Yes. Alright, now I'm stuck here for controls. There we go. Wow, that is a cool clock. I would love to have a clock that had hands that moved around like that. It wouldn't be very useful for telling time, but... All I know is no one from the outside knew about these secret chambers. Okay. I can't open the door from this side. The locking mechanism is broke. Oh, good. Now I'm trapped in a cadicus ring. Oh, that's the um, the snake on the cup or the snake on the rod. I forget which one. So now we're trapped in a secret room inside a scary mansion. Good job, us. Medical snakes. <laughs> Accordion. And it's a creepy letter. Uh, what am I looking for? Two clocks and two keys. There's a key. And there's a clock. And there's a clock. And a camera. And a glass cutter. Is the glass cutter to keep? I want the glass cutter to keep. Where is him? There he is. The snakes are doctors. I don't think the snakes are doctors. I, I, I don't think so. They do help with medical attention though but usually it's due to the fact that you're giving someone anti-venom because they were bitten by a snake so i'm not entirely sure that that counts as being helpful if you're giving a remedy for something that you caused you know oh do we get to keep the dynamite i bet we don't get to keep the dynamite we might get to keep the the uh, glass cutter but i doubt they're gonna let us keep the dynamite a black rose. Ooh. Remember that point in your childhood when you thought things of a different color were like more awesome than things of regular color? Like black roses or like just non-standard things were better because they weren't standard? Or is that just me? Key. Great work. Yay, glass cutter. Oh, really? What what did they end up liking a lot? Oh, there's a book. Creatures! Interesting. We are missing a light bulb. They would always pick a red thing over any other color. That's because red is the first color in the rainbow. The aquarium is too dark to search. Okay, so I have to turn that on, but in order to do that, I need a light bulb, so... I guess there's another half. Well, isn't that not what I was expecting to see when we turned the corner? Now, I haven't seen it in a while, but I am like 90% sure that that is actually the cave troll from the Lord of the Rings movie. Really bad. Like he's just been sitting there that whole time and it does not look like he's actually attached to anything. Uh-oh, this Frankenstein creature is a guard dog. Frankenstein-esque creature. He's not going to let me pass. Okay, up close he doesn't look like the Lord of the Rings cave troll, but from far away he certainly does. I'm going to have to find a picture to compare. Something special is needed to break through this thick glass. No, it's not. You can break through any glass you want, but you want to cut it, so. Oh, I guess we have to make a picture. Huh. A whistle. And what is that? Alright, hang on. We've got new pages of information here. Okay. The secret door was hidden in the wall underneath the tapestry. It had the strangest lock yet. Surprisingly, the mechanism's hands were hidden among the records of celebrities who vanished from this room. That is, in fact, very suspicious. I get the feeling someone is or somebody is feeding me puzzles to try and involve me in their weird game. No doubt this door opens the mansion's secret chambers, which were well hidden from prying eyes. Perhaps my investigation has taken a dangerous turn. You think? Will my diary lure in the next person who will end up disappearing? In a moment, I will take a step into obscurity. One can never feel ready for that. 
fishing book fishing season diversity of fish by depth <laughs> that's the big fish logo <laughs> on the floor i found a curious fishing book with a diagram inside i'm holding on to it something tells me i'll need it the secret door that led to the chambers closed automatically behind me i was not pleased to find that the locking mechanism is broken on this side meaning i am trapped in this narrow corridor i discovered an incredible creature on the other end of the corridor he's the most peculiarly peculiar watchdog i've ever seen that's interesting place for secret journal entry this painting was hiding a safe inside it. I think this was the doctor's secret place where he kept the evidence he collected. Seems to me he planned on showing the files and lab journal to the police as proof of the strange experiments performed in the void. However, he did not have time to realize his plan. This crazy scenario, scenario makes me think the doctor is somehow entangled in this mystery and tried to fly the coop when he realized what was really going on. Really, it took you that long to figure that out? Yeah, that totally looks like, especially the head, looks like the cave troll. Malleus Void's Lab Journal, Section 3, Artificial Giant Creation Thesis Report. The Triturius Vulgaris Common Newt was selected as the creature's source. The application of the heretofore unknown alchemical regent number 8 produced the desired results. The newt successfully mutated into a gargantuan pseudo-humanoid form. The application of growth accelerator quickly brought the creature into adult status. Two plus drug equals cave troll. <laughs> Pretty much. Note, only in my wildest dreams did I ever imagine a real-life troll, he is calling it a troll, would troll the world of the void. Years of hard work have finally paid off. I'm proud. I'm a proud papa. I've named my kind but silly son Gargantua. Really? That's what you named him? P.S. My friend, Dr. What is that name? Ashen Pitts? Will go back crazy when he sees Gargantua. Yes, he will. He will end up either getting killed or something. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. Ooh, fishies. Okay, what's the diagram? Where's my fishy diagram? Okay, so the sail, the flying fish dude goes first. So you're the highest. And I would actually think, well, no, because it's a flying fish. I would think dolphin is probably next, and you're probably at the bottom, and you're probably there. Yep. That is an airplane. And a light bulb. And a letter. I've been observing Gargantua. I still can't believe he was grown from a common amphibian into an almost sentient being with the help of alchemy. He is rather naive and just a tad territorial. Memo. Gargantua is afraid of high-pitched sounds, aka whistling. Doc. Okay. I guess we can scare him off by whistling then. Um... Whistle. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting to happen. <laughs> I, I did. Look at that. Wow. I hope he's not dead. Or maybe I hope he is dead. The iron hook hangs securely from the wall. When did we go up three floors? Now we went up one floor. Jumping from this height is rather dangerous. I'd rather lower myself. Yeah, okay, that's fair. I guess we need a rope. Is that the magician turned to gold? A dressing room in the void. That golden statue... I didn't actually see what that said. Knock, knock. This likeness of the magician Gerald Springs sounds hollow. Oh, maybe it isn't him then. The statue bears a striking resemblance to Gerald Springs. Does somebody worship the illusionist as if he were an idol? I knocked on the creature's statue and creepy statue and found it hollow. A couple of cracks with a tool and I'll expose its secrets. I mean, if it sounds hollow, it probably doesn't have the dude inside it, right? That would make sense, but I mean, it might 
be hollow to them as in it's not solid metal, in which case, yeah, it probably has the dude inside it. That's interesting. All right, are those the vampire teeth? Yes, okay. Bow tie, box of matches, there's a dice. I do hate that, yeah, I know. I, I agree, I keep moving. Oh, oh, there's a bug and three playing cards. One, two, three? No, that's money, three. Three dice, one. There's a pigeon, do I need a pigeon? No. There's a dice and a dice or a die as it were. Eight ball, okay, bow tie, box of matches, glove, rose, key, bow tie, there it is. Magician's wand and a ring. There's the ring and the magician's wand. Pigeon, do you know where the wand is? E equals MC squared. Why is that there? That's weird. But that. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the magician's wand. All right. Ah, yeah. I might have found that. Great work. Thank you. I do my best. Is a lizard. Or a salamander. Maybe a salamander. Here's a bird. Lots of masks. Okay, so all we got in here is the gold dude, who I assume is actually the guy. Alright, light bulb puzzle! Okay, so we need to get it so that this is 100, this is 250, and this is 120. Oh no, math! <laughs> Alright, I'm going I do that. Yay! I did some math. Ooh, look at octopus. Do I need an octopus? No. I think I need an octopus. But all right, let's see. Map piece. That's a map piece. Oh, there's a map piece. Nippers. Jolly Roger. Barometer. Three sea turtles. There's one. No, I don't want to eat the octopus. He's a friend. Um, I already forgot what I'm doing. I'm looking for sea turtles. That's not a sea turtle. That's a box turtle. Just because it's in the water doesn't mean it's a sea turtle. I lost my train of thought. Barometer, fishing rod, and another sea turtle, which might just be a regular turtle. There's a fishing rod. You shouldn't put the fishing rod in the water. They rust. Cowboy boot, which I just saw. A ring and an umbrella. There's the ring. What is that? I think that's an arm. Oh, there's the umbrella. A fishing hook, a fishing net. Oh, and three seahorses. I love seahorses. They're so cute. All right, so we need nippers, a barometer, a sea turtle, a fishing hook, and a fishing net. That's not a net. That's a jellyfish. That's an octopus. I am having a hard time focusing on this one for some reason. I think it's because there's lots of cute things to look at. There's a sun and some matches. I need matches in the last one. Do I need a spoon? No. I need a fishing hook. Is that a hook? No. Oh, wait, is that the bobber? That's the bobber, but not the hook. It's a hammer. I could use a hammer. There's a mermaid. Oh, that kind of fishing net. Okay, Brain, good job. I was thinking of, like, a big fishing net, like you would throw on stuff, rather than when you scoop things with. Oh, there's a fish hook. Alright, let's see. A barometer. I think that'd be easy to find. And... Oh, wait, is that... No, that's not it. And another turtle. There's a turtle. That one is actually a sea turtle. So two sea turtles and one land turtle that was swimming. Oh, is that the barometer? Yes. And nippers. Up there they are. I knew I saw them there. And this must be the last ring for the suitcase. Nip, nip, nip. The case has a false bottom. I have to figure out... Oh, Why do they always make me do this one? I always screw it up. Alright, we're gonna try it. 
I already messed it up, didn't I? No. No? I finally figured it out on the first try! Did you see that? Signal notebook. Oh, for like flag um, signs on boats. A ladder! It's a weird assortment of stuff in this house. I bottomed out on the mansion's porch. Ahead lay the woods and a neglected park. Wait, they have a theme park? Oh, we're gonna have to check that out. Shell hairbrush, six coins. One, two, three. Is that a coin or a button? That's a button, but I needed it anyway. Four, five, I found five, and three feathers. Is that a feather? That's, that's feather. Well, okay, that's also a feather though. Yes, that should have been like in the intro somewhere that there is a theme park in the back of the house. That seems extremely important to me. <laughs> Shell, hairbrush, coin. There's a regular brush. There's a hairbrush. There's a shell. Where's that last coin? Up oh, there it is. I found it. A bulb and a lizard. I saw a lizard. There's a bumblebee. There's a lizard. And there's a bulb. That doesn't go in there. And a hanger and a magnifying glass. There's the magnifying glass. I've been looking at that the whole time. Is that the actress lady or is that just a random picture? That looks like the actress lady, I think. But I have been wrong before. Hanger! Key, unicorn, and a moon. Okay, good. It's not... I, I'm, I'm not making things up. There have been cases where that has been a thing. No, I don't need a ring in this one. I need a key and a unicorn... Is that a key? That might be a key, but that's a winding key for the stopwatch. So I guess that doesn't count. There's an umbrella. And a butterfly and a chewed on pencil. Huh, where not can I find a unicorn? Oh, wow, that really just looked like wrought iron. And a moon, which I was not looking for. And the key, which I still haven't seen yet. And I'm pretty sure something is back here, because I'm not looking back here, because it's very busy and my mind just goes meh. Like that. There's a key. Oh, and there's the moon. Good job. Okay, that brings us back upstairs. And welcome to the Void's world. <laughs> All right, is this the key to the mailbox? Yes, it is. There's a little house over here. Why are we not noticing the little house? The old park gates. Mal Malleus effigy. Wait, what? Malleus lived to see his name in lights. It would kill him again to see the park like this. The old park gates, Malice effigy hangs here, marred by moss. That's not an effigy, it's his name. Wait a minute. Oh, that's the monster. Right, we knocked him off the thing. The monster is headed for the garden. I wasn't paying attention. I descended the rope ladder and found the monster broke the porch with his fall. However, his tracks indicate he is unharmed and heading for the amusement park. I'm glad he's safe. Gargantua may be dangerous, but he didn't do me any harm. I came upon a strange gate, the amusement park entrance. Funny thing is it's not visible from the road because of the mansion's girth. Seems Void managed to plaster his image on everything, though his portrait is in sorry shape. The monster disappeared behind the gates and they closed with a bang. I must unlock them ASAP. If my sixth sense is right, this Frankenstein monster may lead me to some of the answers I seek. Wow. Welcome to Void's Serious World? Cyrus World? The amusement horror park where everything is real. Meet trolls and other characters, monsters, from storybooks. 
see fantastic flora in a fairy wood. This park is a place where myths, terror, comes alive. In the mailbox near the gates, I found a defiled advertisement with a note from none other than Mr. Springs. Dear Mr. Void, I had to talk to your brother, Sirius Void, today. I don't like the sound of it one bit. Your brother wants to warp our magical amusement park. Wait. Oh, 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 okay. Your brother wants to warp our magical amusement park. If he keeps interfering with our business, Void's world will turn into a park of horrors. Take this as fair warning that your ingenious idea is in serious danger. Sincerely, the unamused Gerald Springs. P.S. See the attached brochure as evidence of Sirius's malignant plans. Oh no! We ran out of time. <laughs> That was only an hour too. That game is fun. I want to play more. I think I'm gonna go buy it. Yay, activate now. This game is good and wacky and like what we're doing makes sense. I mean, as much as any of it makes sense, but like it's not completely out there. There's enough backstory that you can actually figure out what's going on, which is nice. Me either, I have no idea. Actually from the letter, it looks like the magician was working with Void to create this secret amusement park. But Void's brother was going to turn it into like a scary amusement park and make it dangerous. And the magician didn't like that. So maybe the brother killed Void and the magician. And I don't know about the writer. I'm not sure how he fits in. Or the actress. Though maybe the actress was supposed to be part of the park. Like, to work in the park as, like, a damsel in distress type person. Serious. Okay, I was right. I thought so. Because that's one of the names from Harry Potter, right? That's the... I didn't read Harry Potter. I only watched some of the movies. But yeah, he's... Sirius Black is the name of one of the characters. <laughs> Yes, and your only Harry Potter joke? Oh dear, what's your only Harry Potter joke? Remus Lupin goes up to Harry Potter and says, Harry, I'm a werewolf. Harry Potter does a spit take and shouts, What, are you effing serious? And Remus says, Yes, that too. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> The full game is downloaded, so let's start back up again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, we can skip this because we already watched the opening. Okay, so let's go back. We might have to do part of that over again. I'm not sure how this works. Okay, yeah, so we have to- we don't have to read it all over again, luckily. He's running away or leading- is he running away or leading me somewhere? I don't know. Another lock. Okay, hang on though. We- oh, there's his face. It's supposed to be up there. I got it. Okay. Let's see what our notes say. Do we have anything else with our notes? No. We already looked at that. Oh, this was the thing we were working on. Okay. Sirius is malignant plants. Alright, and we need another wheel. And there's a fairy door over here, but I guess that's part of the park, not real fairies. I assume. Is there anything up here? That I can... Oh! The wheel. Okay. Ah! Maps of the sky. Two moldy donuts. Yum. That is a very weird sound effect. Kind of not a fan. Is this not lined up properly? This one is. Is this one off a little bit or something? Yes, okay. How close do I have to get this? 
in a moment, I'm going to skip this. Info. Rotate the rings to match up the constellations. They're matched! That's as matched as they're going to get. Mm-hmm. It's harder than I expected. A lock within a lock. I must solve this mechanism's secrets to unlock the gates. Alright, this one I don't know how to do. Assemble all the yellow hexagons around the left gear and the green ones around the right gear. Okay. How do I... That didn't make any sense. Yeah. I don't understand what's happening here. It's just randomly picking ones. Right? Like, you saw that too, right? Yeah, it was taking the one over here. Bizarre. Alright, wait, we got, we got another entry here. Beyond the park gates lies a fairy garden covered by a huge glass dome. I've never seen anything of the kind before. The creature seemed to head deep into the garden. Is he scared of me or trying to lead me somewhere? I admit the troll's starting to grow on me. I might even say he's cute. Anyway, first I have to cross a brook of oddly fluorescent water. I don't dare wade through it. It could be dangerous chemicals, probably. There's a mini drawbridge, but its chain is broken. If I can find a few links, I'm sure to fix it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, I didn't read this one. The chain of riddles solved one by one gave me access to a huge aquarium where I found some useful items. All the tricky puzzles make me think that a very clever man was trying to keep his secrets from everyone, including those who had access to the man's mansion's secret chambers. Right now, my investigation yields more questions than answers. Uh, read. I examined the porch and park entrance. No surprise that Malleus secured the place with a two-part lock. Luckily, Mystery Tracker's boot camp prepared me for such obstacles. Now that I've got the gates open, I have to track down the troll. The thing ran away pretty fast, even though I think he wants me to follow. So, Mr. Void, let's see what you're hiding in your world. Okay. I don't know why these pages don't seem to be in the correct order. Well, that's different, isn't it? Huh. Ooh, oh, gosh darn it. Sidehammer. Let's see. The drawbridge chain is broken. The bridge has a busted chain. Okay. The mini drawbridge traverses an oddly fluorescent brook. I guess we need to use the sledgehammer somewhere else. Let's go back this way. Use it on the stained glass window. I guess maybe back up here? Oh, we have to break the statue! I forgot. This is kind of extreme, but here we go. <sighs> this likeness of the magician Gerald Spring sounds hollow. Oh no! It's a skeleton! The golden figure I assumed was a statue is actually the magician Gerald Springs. Drowning in gold is a terrible death. I'm sure this is not the immortality this celebrity wanted. The gold burned then desiccated his remains. Clearly, the gargantuan in the hall was guarding this entrance. What's more puzzling is that the room was obviously designed for Mr. Springs. So was he a prisoner or a distinguished guest? I found a hastily written note in the suitcase in the dressing room. My adventure was off to a brilliant start. I had tricked the public with the ultimate vanishing act and went to work as Mr. Void's assistant. His, he told his incredible creatures that I'm their golden master, but I can't control my new subordinates. Dr. Azen Pitts warned me, warned that I should watch my back. Now it's too late. They've carried me off the, uh, to the alchemical factory cheering golden master. I can't run away as Gargantua accidentally broke my leg. I can hear the sound of a casting furnace and I'm terrified. I believe they will make me a real golden master and worship me. This time, the illusion wasn't enough. Clearly, Gerald Springs was murdered by these mysterious creatures. But is Malleus Void really alive? And why did he need Mr. Springs to assist him? And this is very weird, right? <laughs> Uh, 
No doubt about it, this is the skeleton of Gerald Springs, magician extraordinaire, suffocated by molten gold. By the way, I probably should have said this at the beginning, this video game is rated T for teen. <laughs> okay, so what did that give us? Oh, that gave us chain. We are in a teen game. I mean, it's kind of tame so far for a teen game, but... Alright, lowering the drawbridge. The garden is fantastic. It's hot and muggy here, much like the tropics. Malleus voids dendoranium? What's a dendoranium? Oh, I didn't actually get... Dag Nabbit! Hang on! Beyond the gates, a bulonic scene lay before me, complete with stinging birds, sac saccharine scents, and a fairy forest in full bloom. The Void's mansion's dark secrets faded into the background. As I recovered from the shock, I noticed lots of unusual things. There were plants and animals I couldn't identify. And the tropical weather was completely different than the weather outside the gates. Clearly, I had crossed over into another world, one carefully created but long forgotten. Despite its beauty, Void's world looked overgrown and wild. Isn't that Uncle Sam? Patient's psychological portrait, doctor in charge, Dr. Azenshipsitz. Oh, there you go then. So it's like, uh... A terrarium, but for trees. <laughs> Malle patient Malleus Void, codenamed Dr. Jekyll? Diagnosis, Dissociative Identity Disorder. Interesting. During childhood, Jekyll suffered a psychological shock when conflicts arose between the sanctity of his inner world and the cruel reality of the outer. The patient still seeks the solitude and joy of his early youth and is trying to recreate this haven with his manufactured world. He stated he felt sudden deterioration, almost physical paralysis, and the desire to withdraw completely from the outside world after his latest attempt to engage with a community, a scientific congress. Despite the disorder, Jekyll is a kind and amicable man and is a, is a certifiable genius. Oh, so I bet Malleus and Sirius are the same person. I still don't get to see what that said, though. Alright. Um, looks like something's missing from the hood. Correct. Ooh, a gas can. Once again, in the US, gas cans have to be red. It's important, because if you put gas in the wrong color thing, you can get a ticket. Whoa, what just happened? Whoops, I burned this bridge, rotten planks, there's no going back. Well, that's not good. It did. Okay, well, we already went in the tree on accident once, so let's go in the tree again. An abandoned car sits right in the middle of the park. I'm not much for cars, but I'd hazard this one is an electric pollution-free prototype. Furry moss covers it, telling me it hasn't functioned for ages. Is this the thing we're looking for? Because that's annoying. Has the future arrived in an electric car? The international car exhibit revealed lots of surprises. Mr. Void's bold move being one of them. A millionaire... something or other. The author of a number of incredible inventions, Malleus Voigt acquired the prototype of a pollution-free car along with its patent rights from the, from the booth. Mr. Void refused to comment, but our sources confirm he needs the electric engine technology for his experiments. The community wonders if his purchase is somehow related to the construction taking something on the Void Mansion's capricious something or other. Huh. Okay. And that's still that. Oh no, Void is Elon Musk. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Broom. Lantern. 
watering can, garden pruners, microscope, scythe, heart, rake, slingshot. Oh, there it is. Keys, rose, and bugs. You're a bug. I guess that's the kind of bug they mean. Spider is also not a bug. That's correct. It's an arachnid. There's a rose. Here's a bug. Here's a beetle and another beetle. That's another bug, but it's also a butterfly, and apparently that doesn't count. Ooh, that's a pretty bug. And keys. Key, 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 key. Great work. Thank you. All right. Well, I guess there's not much in here. Uh, let's go left. To traverse the hole, I must walk the plank. I just need the plank. Ha 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 ha. All right. Wait, can I look over here too? Oh, interesting. Block is too intricate to pick. I will need a key. All right, can I find a key? No. It's a bird. Wow, that's a cool bird. I don't recognize this bird. I kind of do. It looks familiar. Actually, it looks like a roadrunner. Sorta. Wait, patient psychological portrait. Doctor in charge, Doctor Pitts, whatever his name is. Patient Sirius Void, code name Mr. Hyde. Wait, maybe they aren't. Mr. Hyde is obviously suffering from an acute mental disease in the form of aggressive, aggressive paranoia. Oh no, it's the same dude. His treatment of reality can be characterized as hatred towards everybody around and absolute cynicism. After childhood of hard knocks, Hyde resolved to never be vulnerable again. He intends to hurt before he can be hurt. These symptoms, combined with his conscious aspiration for power and desire to obliterate anything and everything that contradicts his ideology, make Mr. Hyde very dangerous to society. Yeah, that's the same dude. And that is also Uncle Sam. That is a character. And that is him in a mask and bad lighting. <laughs> I said! Ooh, a board. Yay. There's another bird. The tram is only viable transportation in this artificial world. Wow, this is giant. Is this all the same thing? Power to the tram. I must turn the lever to ropeway. Okay, so I need a lever. Tram is offline. There he go. Ha! Huh. The mountainside building looks like a small hotel. Void's world has everything. Bye, I guess. <laughs> Void's world. Wow. So this is all inside, like, the theme park. That is very strange. Okay, let's go across the moat. Thorny rosebush strangles the ladder. Okay, well, we have clippers. Clip, 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 clip. All right, hang on. I want to see what's over here first. A couple more valves, and I might convince this hatch to open. All right, so we need some valves for that. Oh, there's one. And I think that's it. So what's at the top of the ladder? That looks like something, that, like a hawk that's been recolored. Banana, pliers, there's a the banana. Pliers, neckerchief, that's a cool word, and I saw it. Exotic bird, that would be you. Four gears, one, two, oh, that's a valve, sorry. So this is two. And three. And cool mushrooms. Four lanterns. One, two, three, four, and two lizards. That lizard has a squirrel head. This lizard has a squirrel head. Do we see that this lizard has a squirrel head? 
this tree is made of eyeballs. And it's leaves. And it's fruit? Question mark? Oh, there's the other gear. Ooh, look, there's a Pegasus in the background. Um, that's different. All right, so pliers, triangle ruler, I saw over here. That's actually called a square. A bucket. A chain. That's an elephant snail. That is an elephant with a snail shell on it. This is very weird. Oh, this lizard has bat wings. That's why I didn't see it at first. The elephant snail is adorable. The lizard bat, I think I could probably live without. Where did I see those scissors? I totally saw them. Scissors and pliers, I don't think I saw. Oh, there they are. Yeah, I guess. Okay, a couple more. Yes. <sighs> that was 100% on accident. Weird. Generator powers the garden pump. It delivers chemical nutrients to the trees. Oh, look, a fox. Aw, he's napping. Open. The safe won't open until the power is restored. Makes sense. Gener- oh, hang- is this full? Yes, okay. The generator can only be full with pollution-free something or other. Fill for only four segments of the fuel tank. I literally just did this puzzle in the last game. Okay. Buffer fuel tank. Three. Five. There. Yay, I did it! Open. There's keys and envelope. I think. Alright, let's see. Oh man, I have to stop every time I find something, I guess, or I get too far behind. To the right of the garden is a ropeway tram platform. A wondrous view of the mountain valley spread out before me. Suddenly I realized the real scope of this fantastical garden. Void never wanted the illusion to end. Unfortunately, the tram doors are locked because it lacks power. I found the electrical panel on the platform. It's missing a lever, though. I'm hopeful that it's in the fake forest somewhere. While peering through the spyglass, I noticed my old acquaintance, Gargantua, was scaling the cable King Kong style over the abyss. Now I'm sure there's something he wants me to see. I just need to follow him. The fairy glade. In the fairy glade, I found a heavy cast iron hatch. It leads to an underground room that houses equipment connected to the microclimate system. I just had to find the valves and connect the wires to open the hatch. Near the old electric car, I found a gas can. I managed to fuel up the generator and get it running at full power. Now the garden and the tram are back online. Beneath the hatch in the fairy forest is a generator that supplies power to all the mechanisms that support this artificial world. I assume the tram ropeway is also powered by it. The pump set down there delivers chemical nutrients to the tree roots. Sometimes nature really is the best innovator. But this crucial generator isn't working because it's out of pollution-free gas. Oh my gosh. This review is devoted to the apocryphal paper, Botany and Biology of My Artificial World. Unfortunately, the article cannot be considered scientific. If Mr. Malley's Void is indeed the genuine author, it discredits the claims further, as he has no relationship to science. The International Conference brought many surprises, but Mr. Void produced the greatest of all. In his speech, he declared the following points. Mr. Void created a new species of plants and animals. Mr. Void is creating an artificial habitat for his pets. Mr. Void, incredible but true, has invented all of this for his amusement park which will open to the public, not the scientific community, in the very near future. As evidence of all this nonsense, Mr. Void produced unconvincing photos, clearly shopped, and a flower pot, so he bred a hybrid, beat Big Whoop. No surprise then that the new genius of botany and biology was mocked by the public and derided by scientists. Unfortunately, Mr. Void, 
the exhibited pot was broken, a conference organizer accidentally dropped the miracle. This event apparently upset Mr. Floyd to the point that he suffered a violent outburst and withdrew from the podium. However, we believe he saw the writing on the wall and took the easy out. Once again, the community has unmasked another scientific charlatan. Why do they hate me? Everything I said was true. Yes, yeah, it's not like just something you can do randomly. It's extremely hard. Okay, so now the forest is turned back on, I guess. Well, that's unpleasant. When this dead tree fell in the fairy forest, I definitely heard it. It almost <laughs> fell on me too. Okay. I guess we can open the car now. I don't know. Apparently it's a thing though. Wow, this is a cool car. Ballerina map sneaker. Three butterflies. I want to find the three butterflies. Oh, that we need. That's that is the hood ornament. That's totally in our notes. What am I looking for? There's a bird. I need butterflies. A shrimp. I don't need a shrimp. Butterfly. I need butterflies. That's what I was looking for. Hey, that's not a butterfly. There's a frog. It's kind of silly. There's a butterfly. And what else is going on? There's a lizard. There's a frog. A ballerina. And a map. Map, 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 map. Is that a map? Yes. A sneaker. Did we figure out when this is taking place? Because I'm kind of not certain on that. It's not nearly as crazy as Haunted Hotel in the what year is this, but still. I thought that said a Macarena. No, that's a Maraca and suspenders and a toothbrush, which I just saw. There it is. Uh, da -da -da -da. A police badge, which I also... Oh, that's it right there. And a parasol. There's a watch. And then Stephen King guy mentioned his phone being broken. Yeah, that's true, huh? But it seems kind of old-timey, doesn't it? Sorta. Maybe not. I'm, I'm actually not sure. I mean, this came out in 2010, so it's a, a little old-timey at this point. But it's not that old-timey. It is an old-timey house. That is true. And it is decorated as such, but that's normal. Is that a butterfly? Oh, that's a parasol, though. Ah, I, I knew that. Rocket. Oh, I saw the suspenders twice. Where are they? There they are. Butterfly and a maraca. Is that a butterfly? No, that's a bow. I have no idea what I'm doing. I need a butterfly and a maraca, and I'm not finding either of them. There's a butterfly. Where's the maraca? Oh, wow. I was looking at this as part of the dashboard and this as part of the steering wheel. Alright, and that's the hood ornament. Which goes right there. What is that? Oh, that's the lever for the doodly what's it's the trolley tram thing. Danger, keep out. Ha! can't fool me. Ropeway. All right, here we go. We're gonna go to the top and then maybe. Ropeway voltage. Check. Low energy. Okay, so that has to go up higher. Yes. Yes, I do. It's still not on the power. I think it's strange Yay! Here we go! I've never ridden on one of these. Well, I mean, I read on one of Great Adventure, but that... Not Red, Road. But that's just over the park. It's not like going up a mountain. They do, don't they? Uh-oh. It's raining. Oh no, it's thundering. Mm -hmm. 
Uh oh. <laughs> An errant light bulb killed the engine. I'm locked inside. Are we actually where we need to be? Muddy but firm glass must be broken by a serious tool. Do I still have my sledgehammer? Of course not. Just as the tram was approaching the platform of the Mountain Hotel, a terrible thunderstorm broke out. Streams of lightning poured down and one managed to strike the tram, melting the wires. I was as good as imprisoned in a broken down tram. The way to the Mountain Hotel, Malleus Void's Dendrarium, has an extensive network of transportation. The cableway stretches from the mansion to the Mountain Hotel, and construction of the subway tunnel has begun. Everything will be ready for your riding pleasure in the near future. Bic book your trip to the Void's world today. Back to the Void's mansion. Bizarre. Okay, so we need something to hit it with. Oil. No key, no medicine. Stop locking medicine cabinets. A leather jacket. Why do I need that? Toolbox. Oh, key is rusted in. All right. Oh, wait, we were going to stop, weren't we? We should probably stop before we get out of this, huh? To look cool. Yeah, let, let's stop here. And we can pick up here again next time we play this game. So let's go menu. Quit. Okay. Well, that was fun. That is a very strange game. I actually like all of this too much reading. I don't know, I like that much reading. It would be cool if it was cutscenes, but that would cost a lot more money. And this has a lot more depth to it because you get some of the backstory. Unlike a couple of the original haunted hotels, wherein you had, like, all of this stuff going on, but there was literally no story. <laughs> so, I don't know. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. What else is going on? We finished with Haunted Hotel 8, so we have to get Haunted Hotel 9. But I think the next one I'm going to do is the second Mystery Case Files, because I keep saying that over and over again, but I haven't done it yet. So we'll do Mystery Case Files next and then we'll either do this one again or we'll do the next haunted hotel which i think is like haunted hotel phoenix something or other i forget i don't feel like looking it up either so there you go i am fate touched and i will see you later bye